we are in Solvang, California, Pavlov Across America 2013. Uh, it's day five, night five. We're all getting very excited as we uh, make our way toward LA. Um, in fact, I don't remember where we woke up this morning, but we got here by way of some beautiful mountain passes, um, and we had a lot of fun on the road today. We had a team time trial. Um, I was the reigning champion from, from the last uh, team time trial two years ago. I'm no longer the champion, um, which is kind of awesome. Um, our dedication tonight is to a very special little boy uh, who I never got to meet, um, but by way of his uncle, uh, my friend Jim Lehman, I uh, got to know him very well. Uh, his name is Quinn O'Shea. Uh, he was from Seattle, and uh, he was diagnosed with retinoblastoma, which is a cancer of the eye. Uh, he was born deaf, and the uh, cancer took away his eyesight. So um, this little boy uh, was in a zone that, um, that where, where both of these um, senses had been taken away from him. Um, Jim um, is a past Pablo Across America rider. I met Jim in 2006 or 2007 in this very room where we're sitting at the hotel, the Marriott in Buellton, California. Uh, he's a coach for Carmichael Training Systems, and I attended their camp here. Um, all those years ago, and uh, this man put his arms around me and has been my friend ever since. Um, Quinn um, passed away on February 27th of this year, 2013. It was a striking blow to all of us in the cycling world. We all uh, backed him, we all prayed for him, we all did everything we could to raise his name up uh, in the universe and to fight for him in the way that we uh, could. He survived by his sister Maggie and his parents, Kathleen and Dan. I actually had a chance to talk to Dan on the phone a bunch of times during Quinn's treatment. So tonight, um, we open our hearts to Quinn uh, and the entire O'Shea, uh, Layman family. Um, Jim, we miss you, and uh, we're definitely uh, gonna keep Quinn in our hearts tomorrow as we descend into Santa Barbara and, and over to Oxnard. Our fact of the day is that the incidents of invasive pediatric cancers is up 29% in the past 20 years. Um, it's pretty striking. I don't need to really say much more about it. Uh, if something in the economic world was up 29% in the past 20 years, we'd be pretty psyched about it. Uh, in, the, in the case of cancer, we want to invert that excitement and get the number to go down. Um, uh, today, our call to action is simply, if you uh, care to support research on rare invasive childhood cancers, please visit our website, pavlov.org, um, and click the Donate button. So uh, from Solvang, California, I wish you and your family a good